Here we are at the National Stadium, the most humid place to play sevens rugby. It's going to be frankly tough for the players. I'm sweating even thinking about it. Now, in this expert view, I'm going to say something I thought I would never say. Fiji are the king of the turnovers. So in this chart documenting how many turnovers have been won, conversely to how many have been lost, you can see that only seven teams are positive in their score, meaning they get more turnovers than lose. Not only that, those seven teams are the top seven of the HSBC World Seven Series. Take a look at these figures. South Africa, who you think would be best at 35, but double their score and you get to Fiji, top of the tree by an absolute mile. That is staggering. And just to explain turnover, I mean physically stealing the ball or causing the opposition to lose the ball, therefore getting it back. And we can see here some wonderful examples how Fiji are changing the way that rooks are contested and how they turn over the ball. This first clip, Jonathan Akula and Darren Lange are the two men to watch. The ball is shifted across and a two on two from America with Thomasin holding the ball means that Botitu has to make the tackle on Pinkelman. He manages to chop him down and then take a look at the foot race. Like any good open side in 15s, Jonathan Akula wins that race, makes it a contest, and then Darren Lange gets his shoulder on the backside of Jonathan Akula and drives him through the breakdown, winning the ball on their own try line. That is incredible defense from Fiji and a wonderful team effort. We featured Darren Lange many times in this expert view, and rightly so, because quite frankly, he is one of the best at the breakdown. A Fijian who's six foot five, contesting the ball like very few other people on the series. Let's see another example of him doing just that. This time against Australia, keep an eye on our man on the bottom side of the screen. He misses the first tackle, tries to apply pressure, but within a time frame of three seconds is back in the rook and by four and a half seconds he's got the ball turned over for his team. So often we champion the skills of these Fijians with the ball but without it they are being equally as impressive. This next clip is slightly different variant but ends in the same outcome. Carlin Isles gets the ball for the USA makes it almost to the halfway line remember that and once again we're seeing this two-man effort at the breakdown. Dona Lange as we expect now drives through and this time, it's Jonathan Akula who helps him out with the shoulder on the contact. USA continue to build their phases. Fijian defence continues to be resolute. And then the pressure that Moth Nathangi puts on a Sefo in the middle means that the USA team are absolutely rudderless 30 metres back from where they ended up getting to. That is the definition of oppressive defence from Fiji. When teams have been that aggressive in defence, you start to panic. You try and do things that perhaps you're not comfortable doing. In this last example, we see another way that Fiji get the ball back from their opponents. And it ends with typical Fijian magic. So let's take a look. This highlight reel for Daryl Lange continues. He puts himself in a position where he can see every single defender. But being the size that he is, goes for the intercept and then ensuing chaos. Just sit back and enjoy this. Fiji at their very, very best. It's quite staggering how much impact these rookies are having on this Fijian team. Daryl Lange is leading the charge, but following him are some pretty impressive players. And Fiji have never backed up the following week from winning Hong Kong, so this is a challenge to them. This week in Singapore, with an outstanding defence and a typically Fijian attack, it could well be their chance.